Hello everyone, my name is Alexander Mendes and today I'm going to show the steps to change the local listener port in the VO Trader. VO Trader is also known as a managed file transfer or just MFT. It is bundled with the data exchange. The step here they apply for any version of MFT. So the agenda for the video is first uh, you need to open the VO Trader. VO Trader is the interface for the MFT administrator and after you open it you need to attend the HTTP port for the one that you want, the new one. And after change that you need to re restart the MFT by running the mft.sh script stop and start. You don't need to uh, restart the data exchange just the MFT. That is required to, to take effect. It reads this file when it is start. After you have done that, you can just run a, a grab command line, grab new port, vltrader.xml, which is the uh, vltrader log file, and make sure that uh, the vltrader is listening up in the new port. Okay, so now let me show you through the UI. Okay, so here I just launched the VL Trader console. I'm going to log in. I type my password. Uh, for this demo, I'm not using any license. So I'm just hit the cancel. Continue. Okay, so. I just need to come here in the local listener and I have the here the, the port that I'm currently using 5087 I'm going to change it to 5090 after change hit the apply button as you can see it shows here the the message the started listening port okay let me show you something else here okay I just changed it through the VL Trader interface but what does it change here what file does it change to to know uh, which file you you need to come here in the uh, manage file transfer host directory and there is a file called localListener.xml you can just run a a grab http port just like I'm doing here star.xml it's going to show you this is the file that it has been changed local space listener.xml the new port is here 5090 so now I need to start the restart the MFT You come here in the data exchange bin directory. There is a script called mft.sh. I run stop. Wait for a minute. Then I run start. Okay, I have just started, so now I go to manage file transfer logs directory, and I can run a grab on 50, 90, star.xml. This is the new port. Okay, as you can see, it's here in the <coughs> log file we see the new port available and also I can check check out through the browser I just relaunched the browser and I can see here 5090 slash VO Trader this is the new HTTP port 
Let me just run a quick testing about the login. Okay. Hit cancel. I'm not testing with any license. Yeah. Here is the new port. So in summary, today you have learned the steps to change the VO Trader port by modifying the local internet.xml file through the user interface. Note that this change impacts the VO Trader and also the VO portal, which is the end user interface. We would love to hear from you. Please get in touch by sportvideos at informatica.com or infosport at the Twitter. Thank you.